Can't a whopping she's been asking for. Sure you will, Dave. Bring the law down to her. Let her know who wears the pants around here. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Any woman's done back there, I'll lay you a jug. She'll be doing it. <laughs> Come on now, Lim, and tell us about that thing you killed out there at the swamp, will you? Yeah, Lim, let's hear the rest of that. Like I was saying, I put five slugs into that critter before it went under. The coolest thing I ever seen. And regular arms on it like a man. It was sort of different looking. Had, had suckers on them. Like one of them, uh, like one of them octopuses things. <laughs> Oh, it was plumb off look. Lem, you sure that critter wasn't pink? <laughs> oh, I told you before, it was sort of gray looking. <laughs> well, laugh if you want. But that thing weren't nothing nature put out there. Oh, sir. And it weren't no freak gator neither. I've been poaching this country for 40 years, and I ain't never seen nothing like it. Well, too bad you didn't bring it back. Steve Benton probably pay a fair bounty for him, whatever it was. Bounty? I wouldn't touch that critter for all the money ever made. And if you seen it, you wouldn't either. You better take it easy on this stuff. You looking kind of peaked. No. I'm gonna clean my otter lines out before morning. Lim, I think that critter's a... The ghost of one of those otters you've been poaching all these years, coming back to haunt you. <laughs> well, if that's so, you fellas will see it right quick yourselves. <laughs> oh. I want to be mean or anything like that, Liz, baby. But I got a reputation around here. These folks have no respect for a man who lets his woman boss him. Well, next thing I know, they'll be laughing at me. And they'll be telling all the rest of the... Won't you please listen to me, Liz, baby? Liz? You think you're talking to? Don't touch me. You're my wife. I'll touch you anytime I feel like it. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm going out. 
Maybe I'll be back. Maybe I won't. Liz, baby, I don't mean nothing. Trapper had to kill it. Oh, poor thing. Told you you shouldn't have come along. Well, I can understand hunting an animal, but making it suffer in those traps. Horrible. Well, these poachers know the swamps like the back of their hands. But I'll catch one of them in the axe some night and put him away for six months. In the meantime, I'll have to be satisfied confiscating their trap lines. To lose enough traps, it won't pay them to keep trying. Well, be careful, darling. These people aren't like other folks. You know, they'll try and get back at you. Let them try. Steve, you're a stranger here. They've lived this way for generations. One man isn't going to change them overnight. Hey, you're a real worry -word. Oh, I'm serious, Steve. They can be dangerous. Okay, I'll be careful. You just stop worrying. Steve, I love you. I love you so much. What was that? I don't know. You get in the truck and lock it up. The rule that Sawyer died by misadventure. Now, as far as this officer's concerned, that's the end of it. But, Sheriff, I can't see Look, why the... if Lem was killed by anything human, I wouldn't need you to tell me my job. But I'm not about to go tromping through the swamp looking for an overgrown gator. Sawyer wasn't killed by an alligator. Is that so? Did you hear that, Morton? Game Warden Benton says it wasn't a gator killed Lem. Well, then, what was it? You know so much. Go on, tell me. What killed him? Doc Grayson said the wounds were the kind of squid or a large octopus might cause. Oh, sure. And did Grayson explain how a saltwater creature happened to be 30 miles inland living in clear water? Stranger things have happened. I know... Look here, Ben. You work for the state. Now, why don't you keep your nose out of county business? Is that clear enough for you? Oh, go soak your fat head. What was that you said? I said, go soak your fat head. Oh, that boy's looking for bad trouble. And he's sure going to get it. You can bet on that. So you see, the octopi uses its suction discs to hold its prey. Now, in itself, the disc will not inflict a wound. Same is true of the squid. Now, both creatures have a parrot-like beak as their primary offensive and defensive weapon. Well, maybe the sheriff was right, Dad. Could be a freak or a malformed alligator. No. No, I'm afraid it wasn't. Well, where does that leave us, Doc? I wish I knew. You know, I'm beginning to think Lem was telling the truth in Walker's store. He did see something that night. Something that had intelligence enough to seek him out and destroy him later. But Sawyer claims to have killed the thing he saw, put a half a dozen rifle bullets into it. I've seen that old 4440 he used. Nothing could live after being hit with those slugs. Well, conceding the possibility of one such creature, we must also concede the possibility of others. Well, there's one sure way of finding out. Go in and search every backwater, channel, and wet spot in the swamp. If it's there, I'll find it.
quiet around here. here anymore. Do you want some coffee? Yeah, thanks, son. An army could hide in here and never be noticed. No one did. What? The Seminoles under Osceola in the 1830s. Took the U.S. Army two years to round them up. I remember reading about Osceola in high school. Two years. You've only been at it two days and I feel worn out. Well, you might as well keep on looking around. I guess we may as well give up for today. Well, you won't get any argument from me. Dave Walker. You answer me, you dirty old man. I ain't dirty, Liz, baby. Liz, baby. Liz, honey. Can't you think of anything else to say, stupid? I gotta get this order over Miss Chauvet. She's one of my better customers. Can't keep her waiting. I love you, Liz, baby. some trouble, Dave? You know women, Cal. Gotta get the hair down every now and then. You sure do know an awful lot about females. I gotta hand it to you. I can't stand here at John, Cal. Gotta get this order over to Miss Shelby. What's she letting the hair down about this time? Well, ever since Lynn got herself killed, she wants me to sell out and move into town. Don't you let her bamboozle you, Dave. You keep her right here in the store. After all, the place wouldn't be seen without you around. Thanks, Cal. I better get going. See you when I get back. Yeah, I'll be around.
Tired? Oh, I'm dead. Me too. Come on over here. It seems kind of silly knocking ourselves out looking for something we aren't even sure exists. What do you mean? You know, we, we, we've covered miles of back channel and haven't come across anything to support your father's theory of an alien creature. Not so much as a mud print we couldn't identify. I know. You're not going to give up, are you, Steve? Well, I, I can't waste any more time on a wild goose chase. With all respect to your father's ideas. Dad seems so sure. Yes, some woman, Liz. I reckon I'd have met a woman like you before. You really like me, Cal? <laughs> you kidding? <laughs> no, I didn't hurt you now, did I? It's just that you're so strong. I like a man that's strong. <laughs> you sure picked a doozy, that man, Dave. I don't think he's got a muscle in him. Just a big piece of flab. Oh, honey, I didn't mean anything against you. Just that I can't see a, a real woman like you tying in with a tub of lard like him. You wouldn't understand, Cal. You know, I, I've wanted to tell you. Wouldn't understand. He'd try me. Come on, you tell old Cal all about it. You wouldn't think bad of me? <laughs> Crazy. He'd tell me you killed your pa and your ma and your whole family. I fight to protect you. First husband was a no good bum. Couldn't keep a job more than a week. Used to get lushed up, come home beat up on me. He must have been a prize pig. One night he tried to hold up a gas station. He was so drunk he couldn't even run. He caught him less than a mile away. Got set up. I got a divorce. Rough. After three years working in a lousy beanery, I was ready for the first guy to say a nice word to me. It was Dave. That's it. I wish it had been me. I'd know how to take care of a woman like you, Liz. Maybe it ain't too late, Cal. for the both of you. Get up. Come on, get up. Now look, Dave, I, I know what you're thinking, but... I got double large shot in this here thing. 
You got two seconds before I pull the trigger. No point getting riled, Dave. It wasn't my fault. She's been testing me for months to take her out. <laughs> sure, Cal. I understand. Get her up so I can get a better look at the line, little tramp. Come on, get her up. Come on, get up. No, no. No, he killed me. He killed me. Jump him. And your husband wants to take a look at you. You, uh, you walk all the way, Dave? One more step and I'll blow your plum in two. Get over there. Now, now, Dave, it ain't as bad as you think. Shut up. Tramp. What are you going to do? You'll find out soon enough. Dave, you put down that gun before I get mad and make you eat it. You go ahead and try it, Cal. Go right ahead and try it. Move.
think you learned enough to stay away from a woman, Cal? Oh, oh hey, anything, Dave. I, I'm over to the, I'm over to the county. I, I'll do anything you say, Dave. Anything. All right. Come on out of there. Oh, oh, Dave, Dave, give me a hand. Oh, let me go. Oh, oh, Dave. down here, sir. Well, I'm getting tired of this. Come on in, boys. Well, if there was any bodies out there, we'd have found them. I want some straight answers, Walter. And don't give me any more of that crud about monsters, either. Where'd you hide them after you killed them? I told you the truth, Sheriff. I didn't kill them. I just wanted to scare them good. I loved my Liz. I wouldn't do anything to hurt her. I loved her. Sure. You loved her. That's why you chased her through the swamp with a shotgun. Come on, Walker. Where'd you hide the bodies? Won't you believe me? It was some monsters. They. Take him out of here before I lose my temper. <laughs> County pay a reward if someone finds a body, Sheriff? Fifty dollars. Each? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I never thought that of old Dave. Of course, everybody knowed that Carl and Liz had a hankering for each other. Everybody but old Dave. Stern fools. Grappling out there in the middle of the water. If in them bodies is still in there, you can bet some old bull gator's got them stuffed in his cave under the bank, letting them ripen up for a few days. Yeah, well, what we need now is some long cypress poles to go in there and probe them gator caves. <laughs> I'm sorry, Doc, I can't do it. I have to do it myself. Wouldn't want to have to arrest you, Doc, but I will if I find you near the preserve with any explosives. Steve. I'm sorry, Nan, that's the way it's got to be. Steve's right, Nan. It's his job to protect wildlife. What about human life? Three people have been killed in that game preserve. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Nan, try to understand. If I could be sure something in the swamp was responsible for those deaths, I wouldn't hesitate a minute. We've been together the last three days. We didn't see a trace of anything unusual. Not so much as a suggestion of any form of life unknown to us. Steve, something killed those people. All right, I'll admit so. Your death left a lot of questions unanswered. But you can bet your bottom dollar the other two died from Dave Walker's shotgun. Do you really believe that? Figure it out, Nan. Walker admitted chasing his wife and cow into the swamps after he found them together. He shot them and he tried to place the blame on Sawyer's DTs. If Sawyer had told of seeing uh, purple giraffes with polka dot tails, Walker would have claimed they did it. There's one argument against that, Steve. Dave Walker wasn't the kind of a man to hang himself, not even with two murder charges against him. Now, I talked with Dave less than an hour before he killed himself. That man was in a state of shock. I've seen frightened men before, terrified men. But I've never seen anything to compare with the horror and the fear in Walker's eyes. Well, he realized what he'd done and he killed two people. One his wife. Oh, look, Doc, Nan and I were all over that swamp. And why didn't these monsters attack us? I've been thinking about that. They're probably night creatures. They can't stand the light and they stay down near the bottom during the day. A small charge would stun them, bring them to the surface. Can't buy it, Doc. You're pig-headed, Steve Benton. Stubborn and pig-headed. You just don't understand, do you?
Good night, Doc. Unseasonable. Show is funny. Huh? Ain't you noticed anything? About oh, what? We've been prodding around you all morning. Ain't run across a single gator. By rights, this, this pool should be crawling with him. Show funny. Yeah, that, that is funny. I don't like the looks of things. Let's call it a day. Well, now, wait a minute. We, we ain't pulled the gator holes around the bend yet. You do what you want to do, boy. Just get me on dry land, and right quick. All right. Now, ain't no use getting all head up. Let's go. You gotta quit drinking that moonshine. Yeah. Boy, you're so wrinkled and ugly. Oh, we out here. The wild goose chase. calling, but there's been no answer. Oh, I just got back. What seems to be the trouble? Well, haven't you heard? Old Sam Peters and Porky Reed have disappeared. Come on inside. You know, Covis, nothing would please him more than to have all the swamp people disappear. Swamp trash, he calls them. I know. They have about as much regard for him as he has for them. When they're worried enough to go to him, you know something's wrong. 
Mrs. Reed said the men went searching for Cal and Mrs. Walker's bodies, and they never returned. Cobra says he'll get up a search party if they don't show up in a couple of days. Doc, you and Nan take your car and get as many volunteers as you can. Tell them to meet me at the old wagon road. I'll call Doke Evans and have him bring his dogs. Either they're lost or they've had an accident. I hope to heaven you're right. anyway. Dad, do you think they'll find them? Only the good Lord can answer that. Well, at least we know they got this far. All right, let's split up into two parties and circle the lake. Keep your eyes open. Let's move out. Let's keep moving. Well, we can't do anything more tonight. Might as well start back. I reckon ain't no use hurrying now, Mr. Benton. Reed and old Sam was alive. They'd let us know in with a hollow or something. Yeah, it kind of looks that way. You fellas notice anything about this lake? I mean the gators. What about them? They ain't. A piece of water this size usually has maybe 50, 60 big ones around. A whole lot of little ones. It's real unnatural. Well, maybe our uh, torches scared them away. Nothing scares gators. They're nothing. Animal or human. Well, we might as well get out of here. You 
You got something in mind, Steve? I keep thinking what Evans said about the gators. Nothing scares them, animal or human. And yet something made them leave, maybe a, maybe a mineral contamination. I guess I better run some water samples. Come on, you two, drink your coffee. And uh, supposing there is no contamination? Well, then I'll send over to Eastport for a diving rig and go down to look for this monster of yours. No, Steve, don't even joke like that. I'm not joking, man. I had some training with an aqualung while I was in the Navy. But, Steve... Look, there are two bodies we know for sure down there. Maybe four. They've got to be brought up. Wait a minute. There are no alligators in that part of the swamp, right? So? No sign of any fish or snakes? No. Well, what are you getting at, Doc? Well, that goes your argument about setting off a dynamite charge underwater. You'd bring the bodies to the surface. Get it out of your mind, Doc. I'm not using any explosives as long as there's another way. Why must you be such a... a stubborn pighead? Exactly. I'll tell you why. Number one, there's bound to be some aquarium life in that section, even if the bigger forms have abandoned it. The explosion underwater would destroy every living thing and wreck what nature took years to build up. Number two, I'm paid to prevent the useless slaughter of wildlife. Number three, I'd have to get authorization. And to get that authorization, I'd have to come up with a heck of a good reason. Satisfied? Finish up, Dad. I want to go home. Uh, Steve, uh, how long will it take to get this diving equipment from East Park? Mm, a couple of days. Why? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Take care of yourself, Steve. Well, here's hoping. Dad, can't you throw the dynamite in from here? No, I want to get it out in the middle, in the deepest part. Go any minute. I just can't figure it out. Walker's wife, why didn't her body come to the surface? I don't know. I think I better walk over to the coroner's office. What's the matter, Mr. Benton? Do you feel awkward about arresting my father in his own home? I warned him I'd arrest him if he used dynamite. It's nice of you. Well, the autopsy should be over by now. 
Steve. I thought you'd be here. I don't like to have to do this, Doctor. Do we have time for a cup of coffee first? Sure. You mind, honey? No, I'll make some sandwiches. One thing is certain, for all the good it'll do now. Dave Walker didn't shoot Cal. I just come from the autopsies. Covers tried to keep me out. But I told them I'd raise a stink, they'd smell all the way to the Capitol if he did. Well, well what killed them, Doc? Not drowning. And Cal wasn't shot, either. Every drop of blood was drained out of their bodies. And they had wounds on their throats. Suction wounds, like a, like a gigantic leech might make. And there's something even more incredible. Now, Cal was supposed to have been killed several days ago. Sam and Reed have been missing a matter of 48 hours. All three of them, as far as we know, were in that lake uh, a minimum of two days. Now, I'd stake my reputation as a doctor that Cal hadn't been dead more than two or three hours when we found him, and the other two less than that. First stage, rigor mortis started in during the autopsy. But how could that be, Doc? It's impossible. The coroner will confirm it. Whatever killed him is still in that lake, and it's going to take more than dynamite to get it out. Concussion from those charges would have killed a full-grown whale. That explains how Cal and the others lived after they were supposed to be drowned. What do you mean? Well, this whole region is riddled by caves and caverns cut out by the ocean thousands of years ago. If there are caves above the water, then there must be caves under the water. Go on. Mike and I had a chance to fool around with some frogman equipment captured from the Italian Navy. We sort of prowled through a sunken transport off Salerno. When the ship went down, it trapped some air inside the hull. We'd go down, come up inside the officer's lounge, take off her face mask, and sort of sample some of the bottles floating around. <laughs> we drive the guys crazy trying to figure out how we were getting the stuff. You mean you think that there's a, an air pocket or a cave underneath the lake? Right, gotta be. How else could those people have lived down there? Not only that explains how whatever it is down there lived through the concussions. Steve. Liz Walker. She might still be down there. Alive. Want me to go down for you, Mike? You haven't had one of these things on for a long time. Well, me, every other day, I've been playing fish. Not this time, Mike. If you ask me, they ought to have their heads examined. Giant leeches. <laughs> well, I'm willing to bet a month's pay they don't come up with nothing more than excuses. He's crazy. Him, the doc, and his brat, too. Just wait till I get on the phone to the Capitol. I'll guarantee somebody will wish they'd kept their nose out of other people's business. I'll guarantee that. Steve! Be careful, please. Don't worry, Mike will be ready if anything goes wrong. Don't worry about Steve. Now, if you were going after Barracuda, you might have a tiny bit to worry about. Ready, Mike?
stay away. Please. Not exactly inviting, is it? That sure isn't. Over study, Mike. anything up to a tiger shark, but you got a hit, and this is don't count. Now, anything goes wrong, just yank on the line, I'll be down in a hurry. Finish it off for you, Steve? No, thanks, Mike. I, I think I hurt it pretty bad. Careful now. Anything hurts ten times as dangerous. He's wounded it. He's going to finish it off. Does he have to go under again? He's got to make sure, honey. Where could it have come from? I wish I knew. We'll have to make some tests. Maybe the proximity of Cape Canaveral's got something to do with it. The rocket station? Well, they use atomic energy in the first stages of launching. Not all of them have been successful. You think that if some animal life was close by, not close enough to be killed, but close enough to feel the effects of a radioactive energy that... Uh, a mutation. A type of gigantism of some common animal. Whatever it is, I hope he's able to bring it up. Done that. Look at her face.
I've been around here for years. I never saw nothing like that before. There's no sign of them this time. They must be licking their wounds. You sure you used enough stuff to do the job, Mike? I used 100 sticks to 40 percent. Ought to blow the bottom right out. All right, let her go. Oh, no. I've done enough of your dirty work. Help yourself. 